This is the Alpine Lakes Wilderness Area. It's the end of September and I'm here to uh, explore the area obviously and capture some fall color. Uh, there's a little bit of wind that you may be able to hear but uh, this is just a stopover. You can tell from the foliage behind me that uh, I'm definitely not in the Alpine area yet. Uh, but the trail from here actually uh, heads up. There's a series of switchbacks uh, that gets us up into the Alpine area onto a plateau that uh, overlooks uh, some of the surrounding peaks. The Alpine Lakes Wilderness Area is a large uh, tract of land that runs east of Interstate 90 and south of U.S. Route 2. Um, it encompasses uh, a number, um, hundreds of small um, alpine lakes and ponds. Um, it also includes the Enchantments, which is a popular uh, wilderness area outside of Leavenworth, Washington. So uh, come along with me today. It's the end of September and hopefully I can capture some fall color and some beautiful alpine lakes. Well, this uh, last section's a bit of a challenge. It's uh, a thousand feet elevation gain in just over a half a mile, so it's quite a workout. But uh, this is uh, more of a climber's trail than it is an actual trail, but thankful for it and working my way up to the lake. Should be there before too long. All right, well, uh, just a bit of an update. I am uh, working my way up the ridge. You can see the, uh, you can see what lies ahead of me uh, to get up to the lake. It's a lot of class three, class four scrambling. Um, so it was a thousand feet from down below on the, where we left the trail up to the uh, first lake and another thousand feet from the first lake to uh, the second lake, so working it and hopefully about 30 minutes. Well, I gotta admit, that last bit was a challenge. Another thousand feet in like seven tenths of a mile. Um, but hey, this is a wilderness area. There are no roads, there are no chairlifts, there are no cable cars. If you want to experience this, you've got to put in the leg time. You have to have the sweat equity. But oh, look behind me. What a beautiful view. This gorgeous set of alpine lakes with this bleached white granite and crystal clear deep blue water. Oh, it's so beautiful. Great views across the Cascades at the glaciers. Um, I'm excited to find a composition. There are some fall colors around, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So uh, we've had some clouds move in, which may be a good thing, um, because if they, these are fairly high clouds, and if they stay there, uh, we might get some uh, interesting color at sunset, I'm hoping. Uh, but I'm gonna make my way uh, down to the lake and probably on the ridge between the two lakes, find a place to camp. And I'll check in with you in a few minutes. So I've got the uh, camp all set up. As you can tell, I've added a beanie, a Gore-Tex jacket, and a hoodie. Um, it's a little chilly. As the uh, sun goes down, it's even going to get colder. We're at about 6,400 feet here. Um, and this composition is looking uh, to the west. So I've uh, I found this uh, really interesting red color of these, uh, I believe, huckleberry bushes. I'm not, I'm not a botanist, so I'm not quite sure on my flora, but I think they're huckleberry bushes. Uh, and they have a really interesting red color to them. Um, I'm gonna use that as foreground interest with a small pine tree, and the lake in the midground, and then the, uh, the mountain ridge with the glaciers in the background. Um, the sun sets in about 30 minutes. It's about 5.50 in the afternoon, and sunset 
is at uh, 6.36 tonight. So I'm gonna focus stack this. I'm at uh, F9 uh, for sharpness and ISO 100 140th of a second. I'm gonna focus on the immediate tree, focus a third of the way through the frame and then focus on the mountains. So with a two second uh, timer, I'm gonna go ahead and take these. Looks good. So for this next composition, um, I'm working with uh, the Sunset and I've switched to the 70 to 300. Um, I'm at 70 mil, uh, 55 would have been good, but at 70 will work. Um, and I'm using two leading lines that come in from the side. They're the shores of the lake that focus on an island. Um, and then I have the, the mountain, the center of the mountain on the right uh, third. Um, I'm at uh, F9, ISO 100, 140th of a second, 70 mil. And we do have some clouds that are moving in and out. Uh, so some highlights in the sky. So I'm going to bracket my exposure. Three shots, here we go. Looks good. And I'll blend that when I get home in Photoshop. Well, I don't think we'll, uh, we're going to get any light tonight. We've had some uh, pretty thick uh, mid-level gray clouds uh, move in from the west and they've snuffed out um, any light. I don't think there's going to be any chance of uh, light getting below those clouds and uh, lighting them up with some color, unfortunately. I did get the, uh, the composition earlier uh, with the bracketed exposure. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Probably not a portfolio image. Um, and I like the, uh, the uh, earlier picture with uh, uh, the red bushes and the tree in the foreground. We'll see how that turns out when I get home. Um, but yeah, doesn't look like uh, sunset's going to do much. Uh, this uh, exposure is looking to the west, so I'm holding out hope uh, that this is a sunrise location. Sunrise is in the east, and hopefully we'll light up the ridge um, and the mountains behind um, and really get some alpine glow on that glacier um, it will look outstanding unfortunately uh, the weather forecast is a uh, 50% chance of showers so uh, you never know in the mountains uh, this time of the year is transition time it's uh, the end of September so we'll see how it turns out and I will see you at sunrise So here we are, it's about uh, 20 or 25 minutes past sunrise. I really haven't seen any uh, color develop, just a hint of some yellow uh, about 10 minutes ago, um, but nothing right at the moment. Uh, still have a gray sky, um, but interesting, interesting uh, character and interesting uh, uh, shapes in the clouds, so make the most of that. Um, everything I've shot this morning is with the long lens, the 70 to 300. And right now I'm at 100 mil. So um, I'll show you a couple of the uh, shots that I got this morning and let me know which one you like best. We were once inseparable. We were closer than two of a kind. The bond was almost palpable. Solemn notes with our blood.
Well, um, I'm about finished here. Um, I'm gonna pack up my camp and uh, get ready to head out. I had my breakfast, had a second cup of coffee, so I'm all set to go. Um, so mixed results. Um, had to deal with some uh, absence of light, but uh, turned out okay. Uh, a beautiful area. I'm anxious to come back and, and check it out with uh, some different conditions, but fall color and uh, the clouds added some drama. So overall happy with the trip. Um, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to continue to uh, get updates and uh, accompany me on my other adventures, consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.